how to add facebook pixel on shopify and track conversion hi guys and welcome back today i'm giving you a tutorial on how to add a facebook pixel to your shopify store to track conversion and connect your facebook place to your shopify so let's get started first what you have to do is you will go to your shopify admin and you will get right here you require a shopify store if you do not have any you can create one by going to shopify.com if you have one then you will just log in and this is the admin where you will get then you require a facebook account and in facebook account you must have a, a you know page because if we have the page then we will be able to access the meta business suite within our meta business suite we will be able to create a facebook pixel so first we need to create the Facebook pixel and then we will add it to Shopify. So let's go to Facebook first. Go to facebook.com, open up your page and you will find the Meta Business Suite. You have to open up the planner. So it will open up your Meta Business Suite and you can actually select any of these options to open it up. Then you have to open up the Events Manager. So simply go to All Tools and then select Event Manager given right here. So here we have our event manager and in order to create a Facebook pixel, you will click on connect data source and then you have to select web. So you can see it's saying you can only create one pixel per account because I have already created a pixel for my Facebook and we can create one pixel per account so I cannot create it again but you are creating it for the first time so you will go to connect sources and select web once you select web then you're gonna click on connect and it will take you to the next option where you have to click on get started and enter your pixel name you can give your pixel whatever name you want to I have given it a name of Facebook pixel so if I go to my data sources, I will be able to show you that I already have a Facebook pixel for my store. And you can see it's the same store that I have on Shopify. So once you click on connect data sources and you will give your pixel a name, your pixel will be created. You can see this is my pixel right here and I can continue my pixel setup. So what we can do is we can connect website actively using pixel. Now we have two options, manually add pixel code to the website. So this is our Facebook pixel that has been created and I can add it to not only my Shopify but to my other stores as well such as my Wix or any other store that I have. So I can click on install code manually and it will allow me to create a code and it will actually, you know, I will copy the code from here and then paste it on the website. So we do that for WordPress or any other website. But when it comes to Shopify, we have another option. So if I click on continue, then we have use partner integration. Check if your website is eligible for integration with one of our supported partners such as Shopify, WordPress and more. So we are working with Shopify so we can actually partner and connect our Facebook pixel directly to Shopify. So I'm going to click on check for partner. And we're going to select the partner that we have. You can see there are different partners available such as Joomla, HubSpot, Kajabi, BigCommerce, WordPress and more. And then we have Shopify. So I'm going to select Shopify because we are connecting Shopify to our Facebook. I have completed the setup on Shopify. And then what you need to do is you need to click on next. Now they're saying that complete the setup on Shopify. What does this mean? Go to your Shopify and in your Shopify, you have to go to apps and you're going to open up your app and sales channels. And from here, you have to add Facebook. So you can go to your Shopify app store and install Facebook from there and then you will open it up. So let me actually show you. Go to Shopify app store and search for Facebook and you will have Facebook channel by Shopify. Click on it and click on add app you can see i have already installed my app then you will connect it to your shopify so this is where you will get and now we can start our setup so you can see we can actually manage conversion with ease and that's what we want to do so i will start the setup on shopify now so for that we have to connect our messenger because this is where you will be getting messages and you have to keep track of the conversion so i will click on add sales channel and there you go, we have our own messenger where we can manage conversion with ease and turn messages into checkouts. So this is how I will respond to messenger conversations in Shopify inbox, a sales free channel. So this is how you add it. 
And now I can go back to Event Manager. And as, as I said that I have completed the setup on Shopify, I will click on next, verify my connection and confirm connection as well. I have already done that. That is why it's showing like this. What I can do now is I can create an ad, create custom audience, create lookalike audience and create custom conversions with my pixel that I created. So click on create custom conversion and it will allow you to create a custom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name, add the name. Let's just call it test. Then we have description in description. I'm again, I will write the word test. So the data source is going to be this right here, the pixel that we have added to our Shopify. And then we have to select the category. Once the category is done, you will select the URL and contains. This is for the conversion. And these are the rules that they have to meet. Once you're done, you click on create and your own custom conversion will be created on Facebook and it will also be added to your Shopify. Anytime you want to access your Facebook, you can just go to your apps right here and it will show you your Facebook. Simply go to settings as well. And in settings, you just have to go to apps and sales channel. And there you have Facebook. And you will be able to now run a successful business on Shopify as you have added a pixel that you created on Facebook. Again, to create a pixel, just go to the events manager, go to connect data source, select web and continue with the process to create your own pixel. And then you will connect it to Shopify. So this is how we add our pixel, our Facebook pixel to our Shopify to track conversion and more. We will be able to import products as well to our Facebook marketplace and get audience from Facebook to our Shopify to sell more products. And now what we're going to do is we will simply go ahead and uh, we can use our Shopify. And as I told you before, you just go to settings and anytime you want to access your Facebook, you'll just scroll down and you will go to apps and sales channel. So when it comes to our Facebook, then it is going to be a sales channel. It is not going to be a simple integration or a dropshipping service. This is going to be a sales channel. What does this mean? This actually means that we can also sell products on Facebook marketplace with our Shopify. You can also use different marketing tools. And now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and integrate other platforms as well to customize our Shopify experience and to add our Facebook. When you have Facebook and you have added a Facebook pixel, you will also be able to run a business on Instagram because Facebook and Instagram are provided by Meta. So we can actually run the same business that we have on Facebook and we can run it on Instagram as well. So that's actually a good thing. Once you add the pixel to Shopify, now you're good to go. What you're going to do is you can go to the products and I will be able to show you the products that I have. So I can list these products and what I can do is I can now create a page on Facebook and create a business there and that uh, these products will be shown there too and I will be able to sell them. Uh, why we prefer uh, to add like a Facebook Facebook as sales channel because Facebook has a large audience and it has like millions of users using Facebook every day looking for different products and there are groups. So that is actually a really good platform to actually add to your Shopify. Once you've added the pixel, then you're good to go and you can go ahead and start using your Shopify. There are also some of the courses available out there for Shopify and Facebook. So if you are a complete beginner, you can also take that. But I think that if you're watching this this tutorial you actually know how to create a pixel on facebook and then add it to our shopify i hope that i was a big help to you guys don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to the youtube channel